The man who orchestrated a multi-million dollar Ponzi scheme was back in court today. Ron Wilson faced charges that he lied to authorities and tried to hide some of the money he stole. WYF News Force Mandy Gaither joins us now with more. Mandy. Well, Nigel, I almost didn't recognize Ron Wilson in federal court today. The much thinner former Anderson County Councilman was arraigned on his most recent charges. It's the first time we're seeing Ron Wilson since his sentencing for a Ponzi scheme in which nearly 800 people lost $57 million. WIFF News 4 was the only TV station there as Wilson was escorted out of the federal courthouse in Greenville Thursday morning. The former Anderson County Councilman was noticeably thinner and his hair is now shorter. The 67 year old was indicted earlier this month on charges he lied to agents and tried to hide money he stole from victims who thought. They were investing in silver through Wilson's company, Atlantic Bullion and Coin. Agents say after his arrest, Wilson gave an ammunition canister filled with $400,000 in cash, gold, and silver to his estranged wife and his brother in an attempt to hide it from authorities. Both Cassie and Tim Wilson are now facing charges as well. A judge gave them a bond of $25,000 each. Cassie, is there anything that you'd like to say? Uh, she doesn't have a comment at this time. Thank you. Tim, is there anything you'd like to say? We can't, we can't talk about it at this time. Thank you. Wilson is currently serving a 19 and a half year sentence in a federal prison in Florida. The U.S. Attorney's Office doesn't release where prisoners are being kept while waiting for trial, but WYFF News 4 has learned Wilson is being housed at the Spartanburg County Detention Center for now. And if convicted on these new charges, Wilson is facing up to 15 more years in prison.